ப்ரொஃபஸர் சாரா பர்வின் பானு கமாலுதீன் ஆஃப் கோயம்புத்தூர்ஸ் தமிழ்நாடு அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் யூனிவர்சிட்டி கால்ஸ் வெட்டி வேர் அ மேஜிக் பிளான்ட் இட் இஸ் அ ஃப்ராக்ரண்ட் பெரீனியல் கிராஸ் ஷி ஹேஸ் அ ரீசன்ஸ் டு யூஸ் த மெட்டஃபா Sara along with her students has designed an innovative and cost effective float by using vetiver grass to treat polluted water. These plants uh, they grow through this uh, platform and the roots they are the major scavengers of pollutants in water or any waste waters. So the novelty of our uh, TNA floating treatment plants is uh, we have uh, patented this uh, bio one platform last year. and because uh, we tried uh, three or four types of platforms and this one worked very very good and then it is very sturdy and buoyant and then it could withstand all the weather vagaries for nearly 2 uh, years now it really adapts to different different waste waters so when you grow in water it releases different acids organic acids and when you grow in like waste waters especially tranary we screen and in that it will release different organic acids that will like sequester chrome and then we we went for another one when we spike like chromium 6 what happens so every time so it really adapts vetiver is most commonly known in india for its use in producing perfumes and cosmetic products the international vetiver network based in Texas however has promoted vetiver's role in controlling soil erosion preventing landslides and even contributing to carbon sequestration we all see like the green lakes here in india or all over in many many parts of the world eutrophication is a major issue and vetiver uh, is an excellent removal of nitrates and phosphates which is uh, the main reason for eutrophication in lakes so it is nothing but like any plant it needs nitrogen and phosphorus and if you put any plant like in a lake because of high nnp so these plants will take up for its growth and then it will flourish it will be growing so the success of lab based tests prompted sara and her students to expand the project and test vetiver's efficiency in larger real world scenarios now they have successfully tested the floats in coimbatore's ukkadam lake and a few other small water bodies in tamil nadu Following the success of their initial tests at the Ukadam Lake, Sara and her team decided to test vetiver floats in dying effluent wells and wastewater from tanneries. It was found the vetiver grass significantly reduced levels of total solids, dissolved oxygen and biological oxygen demand. It helps some scientists. They they can do some experiments here and gain the knowledge, okay? and maybe in the process a little bit of improvement in quality of water we can see so many lakes around us and the city is growing the city needs are growing and uh, simultaneously the grey water also is increasing but uh, the overall improvement which we are we want to achieve is is somewhere at a higher plane which we are we are just starting to we are just scratching that uh, surface pollution of water bodies across the country has been one of the major environmental concerns this vetiver floats are quite promising in the revival of water bodies as they cut down level of heavy metals and also act as a bioeffluent fighter